what's up, y'all? hear me smacking. I'm eating and wife is eating. She eating a chicken cheesesteak sub and I'm eating a beef cheesesteak sub with some french fries on to the side. And the shit is absolutely delicious. But I'm here to clean out my laundry basket. The topic of it is cleaning your dirty laundry. I wouldn't say it's my dirty laundry because I'm the victim here. The dirty laundry is like people always want to keep fucking shit quiet. Even though fucking fucked up and wrong. You feel me? And then when you call them out with the shit oh you're wrong you can't do this you can't do that well check this out Jack this is Smokey Black and this is Smokey Black show like I tell people okay this show has substance okay I'm pretty sure you heard this before and I'm gonna say it again the show is a controversial show. This is what we decided to do. That's why it's named, entitled, What's Good Media. Basically, it's not meant for the weak-minded people. At fucking exactly. What's Good Media is the name of the show, okay? We give you everything that you want. You want juicy shit. It's just like saying how the nosy neighbor always stands on the porch. He just as nosy as shit. You can come home from work. Hey, Miss Parker, how you doing? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just up here just looking around, that's all. But just to let you know, I noticed that it was somebody over there by your door the other day. And I'm just letting you know what's good. See? What they call that shit? Information. You see what I'm saying? You just alleviate somebody uh, possibly getting killed or possibly getting robbed. Or all of the above. Or all of the above. You just alleviate all of that. We just giving you good information. You feel me? So, I decide to want to clean up the laundry basket. And I clean my laundry every week. Wifey does too, every single week. We clean laundry every single week. So now, since the, the laundry is dirty, we gotta get that stench out of my house, if you know what I'm saying. So, one thing I don't like about people, especially fucking family, if you're on the outside looking at me, ask a motherfucker. There's no such thing as a defendant and a plaintiff being on the same fucking side of the fence. In a court of law, you have a plaintiff and a defendant fighting on different sides. And it's one in the middle. The middleman. The middleman controls everything. They it's called a the, judge. They call it a medium. Or you Call them the judge. You also have a secretary, and you sometimes, for the most part, also have fucking jurors. It sounds like I'm talking to my audience like they're fucking remedial. Y'all smart. Y'all know where I'm getting at with this shit. The point I'm trying to make is don't be so fucking one sided, especially if the person is fucking lying. Just to make themselves to look fucking good. I hate that shit. I have 36 fucking years that I like to get out of my fucking soul, okay? I don't give a fuck if, if people feelings decide to get caught up in 
I don't give a fuck if I decide to get emails via text message, satellite, phone calls. If you have any problems with Mr. and Mrs. Smokey Black Channel, I would suggest you to do hit the like button, subscribe, send your comments. Matter of fact, leave your telephone number so we can set it up and chop it up and post it on the fucking app. <laughs> so we can see who and who's not going to get cooked in the world <laughs> so your ass can be fucking embarrassed. Okay? This is what I do. You feel me? I'm a talk show host. This is what I do. I talk. I spit facts. Nothing cat on this show. Everything that we spit out is real and fucking authentic. It's nothing edited. It's nothing fucking clean cut. This is raw and grit. If you don't like what you hear, I will suggest you to unsubscribe. Because this is not the channel for you. But for the ones that do love this show, I'm going to give you more content. And we're going to start having live shows once once good get where it needs to be at. We just started this thing a few weeks ago. It's not like we've been doing this shit for like the last year. It's not like we did this shit for the last six fucking months. We just started this shit. Learning process. We learn as we go. We're learning as we go. And far as what we've learned right now, we're doing a pretty decent fucking job. So I decide one day to make a show called. What's it called? What was it called? Fake family members. <laughs> it was called fake family members, right? And I decide we talk about both sides of the family, between my mother's side and my father's <laughs> side. Right? I mentioned about my relatives, like my aunts. My cousins, for example. But for the most part, I talked about was my incubator. Okay? The one that brought me here, unfortunately. The reason why I say unfortunately, I don't know who the fuck she is. And I said that shit last time. Now, what mother you know will sit up here and say, you gotta come to me. He don't acknowledge me, so why should I acknowledge him? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> Stop the press. <laughs> what caused your son to get that way? Oh, your, your, your son just created his own problems? Your son created his own problems? If your son created his uh -huh. own problems, then I think that nigga be in some type of motherfucking facility. With a motherfucking white vest on. With the arms wrapped up and shit like that. Children don't create their problems. People create their fucking problems. Parents create children's fucking problems. Then, like, how the fuck can you learn anything how to be an adult if you don't have the fucking information to go the fuck out there and be a goddamn man or a goddamn woman? I never got any of that goddamn information. I ain't even get that information how to wear a condom. I ain't get that information how to fuck. Oh no. I ain't get no, that, no. that information how to be a daddy. Huh? I ain't even get the information how to be a family oriented man. I ain't get the information on how to be a fucking kid. 
And that should come natural. You know what I had to do? I had to become a man. I couldn't live my motherfucking childhood. Let me tell you why. Because I had to survive because of me living in fucking poverty, man. I was living in fucking poverty, man. Running from pillar to post. Wondering where my fucking next meal was. I hated motherfucking school. So I decided to say fuck school. Oh no. No, 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 no. I said fuck school. I dropped out of school. Huh? And then I had to go to an alternative school. Oh no. Only reason why I want to go to an alternative school just to get her fucking attention. Nigga. That's why I dropped out of high school. Children do shit for a reason. They need that love and attention. How can you get love and attention if the parent is neglecting the fucking kid's needs? Children cry the fucking parents, man.